Can you snipe me out of this? All right, welcome to my Lewis Hamilton Icon Series skin gameplay and review. So I got access to this compliments of Epic Games. I am an Epic partner and sometimes they do grant me skins early. So shout out to Epic Games. Thank you guys so much. So first of all, if you didn't know, Lewis Hamilton is a Formula One legend. And actually Formula One is coming to Las Vegas for the Grand Prix. Should be pretty exciting. Lewis Hamilton. Of course, if you don't know racing, then you probably don't know him that well. I didn't know much about him at all, but I did a little bit of research. He's pretty inspiring, to say the least. So here's what you get. The Lewis Hamilton skin. It says, record-breaking champion racer. So he does have styles, and he is reactive. I'll show you those in just a second. Then he has another skin. It's the launch day Lewis Hamilton. And this says, from the speedway to the stars. Then he has two back blings, the Rocket Ready Roscoe. It says, who's a good astronaut? And then the Pole Positioner handles like a dream. And then the Pole Positioner is also a pickaxe, so it's got to be interactable. And he has the glider called the Slipstream Surfer. And you can see Roscoe is perched on the front. That's pretty awesome. He also has a Scoot and Circles emote. It is Icon Series. That's pretty sweet. Do a little burnout on a scooter. I like that. Is it Traversal? It is not. It says, watch your ankles on that thing. And then we have a wrap called Race Day Flare. And it is animated. Looks like it changes colors. Okay, so let's take a look at the Lewis Hamilton skin first. You can see he's got some very bright clothing on with some very bright animation as well. So this skin is reactive. And when you run, you can see right there, he emits a contrail when he sprints or glides, which is kind of cool. If we go into selectable styles, it looks like you can turn this reactivity off. And then it doesn't look like anything on him lights up. So he still has the bright colors, but they don't light up. So again, this is what it looks like with the reactivity on. You can see from the pants down up, light up, and then the contrails emerge. And then you can have the trackside cool suit. I actually like this, very sleek and low key. And then you can take the glasses off. So here's what he looks like without the glasses on these two. I think he actually looks better with the glasses, even though you can't see this from your perspective. So it looks like with the trackside cool outfit, you don't have any reactivity. But I guess I'll double check that. And then we have his second skin. Not second style, but a completely different skin. And this one is also reactive, and it also has selectable styles. So let's see. The first one is yellow and purple. And a lot of people compare this to the Black Panther skin. I kind of see it. It definitely looks similar. And then he's got the nitrous blue style. Ooh, that one looks better, I think. You can see the sparks emitting from him. A little bit of animation on there as well. So it's like pink and teal versus yellow and purple. Now you can also take the helmet off if you want. And there he is behind the mask. I'm usually not a big fan of helmets, so it's good to have this style to remove it if you don't like it. And then, of course, you can turn the reactivity off. So I'll leave the helmet on to start with. Now, the back blings, I'm a little confused because the Rocket Ready Roscoe, Roscoe, by the way, is his real-life bulldog. I thought it would go with the human version. But look, the color scheme matches this skin right here. So I don't know if it's supposed to go with this skin or if it goes with the Lewis Hamilton skin. But then his other back bling is this massive pickaxe, but this also matches this color scheme. So... I don't know, maybe these both are supposed to go with this skin and the Lewis Hamilton in human form doesn't really get a backplane. I don't know, because neither of these really look that good on the first skin. They both look good on this one. So I am confused. I can't figure out if Roscoe is supposed to be on the original one or on this one. So Roscoe's got a little jetpack there, you can see. That's pretty sweet. And he is reactive. So he also has a secondary nitrous blue style, which further makes me believe it goes with this skin because that has one as well. But then the same thing for the pole positioner, it also has a nitrous blue, which again confirms that probably they both should go with this skin. So that means the original Lewis Hamilton skin does not really have a back bling. Now I read, according to the data miners, that this back bling, the dog, Roscoe, is reactive to getting a win. So I am very curious to see what that does. 
And then we got the Pole Positioner Pickaxe. This one also has styles, so this one has Nitrous Blue as well. And the default. And then we got the sweet looking glider, Slipstream Surfer. This one also has a secondary style. Let's take a look at the first one. It's got a nice blue and teal color scheme there, and Roscoe sits right on the front. Regardless if you have the back bling on or not, it looks like. And then Nitrous Blue. So I feel like his other skin gets all the love as opposed to his original one. I love that dog, Roscoe. So I read that he surfs in real life, so that makes sense that he's got a surfboard. And then the wrap is the Race Day Flare. It is animated, it's not reactive, and it changes color. So we'll see which one that goes best with. So I'm going to do this skin with no back bling. Just because, again, I feel like the two back blings go with the other skin. Now normally I would hop into my personal map and do a review, but it's gone. And I think it's because these ratings. The ratings made my map disappear. So I have to go into a real match for every single style, and it's going to take me forever. All right, here we go. Let's check this out. So when you dive, it's supposed to be giving off contrails. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can see it. It's like a miniature contrail. You see that? That's pretty sweet. And here's the Slipstream Surfer. <laughs> so that's a nice deploy. He whistles his dog in. And in comes Roscoe. It doesn't really match the color scheme though. Let's go forward. Oh, he barked. Backwards, you can see the contrail coming off my skin as well. To the left, there's some good contrail display. To the right. There's a double bark. He said, woof, woof. Oh no, now I can't drop down. So he just randomly barks, that's kind of cool. Let's hope nobody landed right here. Or I might be roasted, toasted, and burnt to a crisp. I bet there's someone just right down here. Oh, God, there is! Heep, heep, heep! Oh, cheesy crackers. Oh, friends, we are dead. Okay, so you can see the contrail is on full display when I sprint and jump. That is really cool. So that must be the reactivity. Let's disperse my balloon here. So here's just normal running. Nothing happens there. How about when we sprint? Yeah, so you can see the contrail starts working as soon as you sprint, and then when you jump. That's a pretty cool reactivity, I think. I mean, it's definitely unique. When you jump normally without sprinting, nothing happens. I can't believe we survived this. I mean, I'm not trying to win this match or anything, but that's crazy that that guy did not elim us. So here it is in the dark. Nice contrail. Very cool. Here's the pickaxe. So that's pretty sweet as well. Look at that color scheme. Very heavy duty sounding, wow. So I imagine this is interactable with the back bling, but as you saw, I didn't equip it. See a splash? Ooh, nice splash. Look at that. A nice slash there. That's beautiful. And again, as soon as you sprint, you start glowing like crazy. So that makes your entire outfit illuminate. And then it slowly trickles away. That's pretty cool. I mean, anyone can achieve that reactivity, so I like that. Sprint, jump, and glide. Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. Here's the Scoot and Circles emote. <laughs> it leaves a donut right there. Yeah, so you can really see the contrail on full display when you glide with balloons. Whee! Okay, so now I'm going to try the trackside cool style just to see if there's any reactivity, but I don't think there is. You could turn it off with the first style, but for this one, like I said, is, there's no option, so I don't know. So obviously I don't see any glow here with this style, especially here when I'm gliding. Still hear the dog bark. 
So sprinting does nothing. So yes, this style does not have any reactivity. Wow, shield for days in here. So I like that they give you this style as an option because a lot of people don't like glowing and animation and reactivity. And like I said, this is extremely low key. I really like this style. If you wanna just not stand out like a sore thumb, this is the style for you. You might wanna change the pickaxe though. That's a little bright. So here's what the wrap looks like, by the way. I didn't show this before. So it just changes from color to color. Okay, so now let's try the launch day Lewis Hamilton. We'll start out with the yellow style with the helmet on and the reactivity on. Now, in addition, I'm gonna start with the pole positioner and we'll try the dog next. I can't wait to see Roscoe, especially if we win a match, that's gonna be amazing. All right, here we go, let's take a look. So if we glide, let's see if there's any reactivity like the first skin. No, I don't see anything. Let's deploy the glider here. Okay, now wait a second, that made the reactivity function. Okay, being stationary does nothing. Ah, but going forward does, look at that. Lots of sparks and animations from going forward. And backwards. You can hear Roscoe barking, and side to side. Okay, so this must just be like the first skin where it's based on movement. We're gonna test that for sure when I land, but you can clearly see it. So here we are in the dark. You can see just while you're stationary, there is no glow whatsoever. So they're bright colors, but yeah, no glow. And you can see the pickaxe is interactable with the back bling, so that's really cool. And this does suit quite nicely. We already saw this sword with the first skin that I ran it with, but obviously it looks way better on this skin. Not bad. Here's the emote. Whee! You can see the burnout marks right there. So just by normally running, you get a little bit of effect there. You can see it kind of trickling out. But just like with the other skin, once you sprint and it takes stamina, then the bolts of electricity really start to display. Let's see if it dwindles down. It does. So that is a really clean reactivity. It's easy to do, obviously. It requires no effort and it lingers for a bit. So let's do it again, and then we'll do the nailed it emote and look from the front. So I'm gonna sprint the full way and then be in the shade here and do it real quick. So let's see, yes, the front of the mask lights up too. You saw it fade away there. So let's just see if it triggers upon an elimination as well. Here's what the wrap looks like. So this is not bad. When it cycles to this color, eh, it doesn't really match, but but a few of the color schemes on the wrap do match this style. Finally, we got some gunfights. I just want one a limb. Oh, he's right there up on the house too. It's a Potassius Peels, I think. Wait for me, guys. Wait for me. Ooh, we got a Midnight Ninja, what a cool name. Not cool enough, though. No. E30 white, we're trying to hit fire. Ooh, he did kind of light up a little bit, but I couldn't tell if it was from me or not. Here's the purple splash and contrail. That looks pretty sweet. That's not bad. So you can see the nice reactivity when you press forward. So just notice all the colors that light up and then as soon as I stop, they linger for about two seconds and then they fade. So that's pretty cool. Not only does he get sparks, he also gets the color scheme that lights up too. Take a look from the front here. Yeah, I think I like this color scheme a little better. Now why did that rifle have to reload when I just picked it up? That's weird. Here's what the wrap looks like as it rotates. So some of the color scheme, just like the other style, doesn't match and then some of it does. So that's kind of hit or miss. But yes, without the helmet, I think he looks pretty sweet. Here's the pickaxe again. Nice glow there. Nice contrail and as we saw in the lobby, a nice splash. 
And of course, when you sprint, you're going to get the sparks. You're going to get the glow. Let's take a look from the front. All right, here we go. Let's test the reactivity here. That guy just got smoked. Go ahead. Try to claim that loot. See what happens. So no reactivity that I can see. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so lastly, let's try with Rocket Ready Roscoe. We're going to start with the purple style, aka Nitrous Blue. And remember, the data miner said he's reactive to a victory. So we're going to try to get one and see what happens. So of note, you can see Roscoe is not on my back. And then he just appears there. So if I just walk normally, is that me emitting the contrail or is that Roscoe? So that's my Contra right there. Big lightning bolts. I think that's his jetpack. Okay, so when you jump, look at that. His jetpack deploys a little bit. That's kind of cool. <laughs> He's pretty cute. Let's spin him around a little bit. Whee! He does not look amused. <laughs> that's funny, though. And you can see when you jump up and down, his ears and his legs and his feet will dangle as well. Right, let's get in a limb and see what happens. Maybe his jetpack will fire up or something. <gasps> Wait a minute. He just barked. Is that the reactivity? He barked when I opened a chest. Hold on. Maybe the data miners were wrong about the secret victory. Right, let's try again. We're going to open this. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. I mean, he even has the barking animation on his mouth. That's really cool. One more time. Watch his face. Now, I'm certain nobody can hear that except for you, or that would be horrible. There's a bot. Let's go. Wait, is that a bot? I think it is. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, it is. Right, let's watch the dog. No. He just stood there with his tongue out. So not reactive based on the limbs. You can see with the close-up, he's a pretty realistic-looking dog. Tongue hanging out. Nice facial movements there. Yeah, that looks real. I love it. Oh boy, there's no way up there. I mean, I'm pretty much roasted, toasted, and burnt to a crisp here. Can you snipe me out of this? Oh my gosh, bro. Are you kidding me? There they both are. Let's go. We're going to go in to clean this up. Easy win. Sorry, buddy. Got to see the reactivity. 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 Nothing. Nothing. He's not secretly reactive at all. No way. Well... That's disappointing. Okay, so let's test in a private match here if this backplane is reactive to getting a win. So I have my friend Leslie somewhere on this map, and she's going to jump off the top rope and give me the win, and we'll see if this backplane does anything. Watching very intently. Here's the win. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So it must be the dog. So it's actually kind of cool when you have the Roscoe backling equipped because when you deploy the glider, watch how he teleports away. He does instant transmission. Look at this. Pew, 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 pew. That's actually really cool. I actually really like this style. Very clean. 
All right, here we go. She's going to jump. Nope. This little jetpack is orange on the first style, but nothing. So that is a myth busted, I guess. Not reactive to a victory. Neither backplane. So there you go. That is Lewis Hamilton. And I'll be quite honest, I am really impressed with what they did with both skins. Both of these are absolutely crazy. I don't know if it's just Roscoe that I'm enjoying the most, but this style in particular right here is just so clean. And just in case you don't like the laid back style like this, this one has everything you could want. A reactivity, nice animation, a nice glow, really, really clean. And if you don't like the vibe of this skin, well, then he's got a second skin entirely, which looks like the Black Panther, has an amazing reactivity, and both back blings go phenomenal with this. Plus, it matches the glider. So I went into this review not knowing much about Lewis Hamilton and not expecting much either, and I was just absolutely blown away. The real deal breaker here is, number one, how much it's going to cost, and number two, can you buy them separately? Because it could be a bundle where they're not sold separate, and that would kind of stink. Unless you like both, then that's awesome. But I think it would be much better if they were sold separately so you could pick and choose. Regardless, the reactivity for both of these is really, really easy to achieve. Especially for Roscoe the dog, all you have to do is open a chest or jump up and down. Despite what some of the data miners said, he is not reactive to a victory royale. So like I said, I was pleasantly surprised by everything in this bundle. Very, very cool. And for once, the Icon Series emote is not copyrighted. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.